Okay. This is a really cool question uh, by Reddit user. That's disputable. This is in the Cheat at Math homework subreddit, which is actually really quiet as far as solutions go. It seems like most of the new stuff remains unsolved. Uh, homework help subreddit is much faster for getting solutions, apparently. Although, you know, go to, the, go to this one. I think people are just turned away by the Cheat at Math um, name for this. So the question is, a revolving beacon is situated at 3,600 feet off of a straight shore. OK, so here's our straight shore. Here's our lighthouse, um, 3,600 feet away. This is the lighthouse. And it says that the rotation of the light is at 4 radians per minute. So I drew up a little thing there. And this shows the angular rotation the angular velocity there. So the part that's a little unclear to me is how far away or like where is the beam actually and this is at its nearest point A so I believe that the beam is right here but we'll we'll just solve it generally and then you can plug in your values at the end. Okay so we need to make a relationship and if there's a right triangle here the, the distance away from this closest point where the beam would be, so if this is where the beam currently is, the distance away from this closest point on shore, we, I labeled that x. Um, then we can use a tangent relationship. x over 3600 is equal to the tangent of the angle, the current angle of, of this uh, light from that closest point. So let's write that up. So tangent of theta, that's, that's this angle here, is equal to x over 3600. So to find theta, we would have to take the inverse tangent. And so we would get theta equal to tan inverse of x over 3600. Now, there's two ways you could have done this. You could do implicit differentiation from here, or you could take the derivative of here. I don't know that one is easier than the other. I'm going to do it from here. So the, we're taking the derivative with respect to time, because we're talking about speeds here. That's, that's what we're looking at. So it's not d theta dx, or dx d theta, or dx dx, right? This is d theta dt and dx dt. So this is an implicit differentiation thing. So I guess you're using it in both, but this way you're a little further down the line. So we're going to take d theta dt, this is where we're going to get our angular velocity, equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared over 3600 squared. Now this, this thing here um, is just, it's a common derivative, uh, and you can prove this to yourself or even look up a proof, but this is, it's worth looking this up if you have a hard time memorizing this, which I did. So I, um, I looked this up and then I proved it over and over and over again when I worked through the calculus material. Like each time, um, I found that just the trick to solve the, to do the proof was actually easier to memorize than the actual whole thing. Okay, so we can't forget to do the derivative of the inside as well. So the derivative of the inside is 1 over 3600 times dx dt. Um, because it's implicit differentiation, we have to do that. So let's see if we can simplify this. So d theta dt equals, so this will be 3600 squared over 3600 squared. Then that would go up to the top. So this is 3600 squared over like that. And then uh, times 1 over 3,600. Oops. Oh, look at that. I did not know how to do that. That's handy. Learn something new every day. So this, this will cancel with the, uh, one of those there. So then we've got dx dt. Now, we're solving for dx dt. How fast does, does the beam sweep along the shore? This is along the shore, so we want to figure out how fast it sweeps along the shore. So let me bring this up here. So I'm just going to solve for dx dt. dx dt equals d theta 
dt times okay there we have it so if I'm understanding this correctly how fast does it does its beam sweep along the shore at its nearest point a we're talking about right here this instantaneous moment where it's like at the the nearest point if that's the case then we would plug in zero for x and then the answer would be dx dt equals what do we have for d theta uh, 4 pi 4 pi radians per minute times 3600 squared plus 0 divided by 3600 is equal to 3600 and this is some unknowable number um, oh and keep in mind this is feet I should have been using the units throughout but it just makes it so much more cluttered um, So then we get, yeah. so this is 4 times 36 is going to be 120 plus 24 is 144. Does that make sense? 120 plus 24 is 144. Um, pi. So check my math there. I don't know. I shouldn't be doing math in public, but uh, I think this is the answer. And related rates are hard. There is a good text on openstacks.org, which I recommend very highly. I, I don't recommend things lightly, but uh, this one is free. It's written by Gilbert Strang, and I forget the other lead author. Uh, I forget their name, but I can't recommend this book enough. It's like decluttered visually and uh, it doesn't have all those like silly pictures that you have to interpret that are totally unrelated to what you're studying. It's not exactly a real analysis textbook. It's just like a Calc 1 textbook. They actually have Calc 1, 2, and 3. They have three volumes. But it gets you there. It gets you ready. And I wish that I had studied that first, especially with limit proofs. If you struggled with those, they have a really nice treatment to continue for, through like a intuition-based uh, understanding of a limit and then hit you with that epsilon delta proof. Um, so if you struggle with that, I recommend it. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you see any errors, just hit me up.